What's up, folks? Dan here, back with another edition of Going Superhuman. This is episode three of the series, and uh, we're still just kind of laying out the groundwork and doing some general updates. So, update for this week, we added in running. So if you're following along at home, just a reminder of the schedule, it's lifting right now Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and then running on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, today being Wednesday, I would normally go running today. However, I had a very strenuous night at work last night, and tonight is probably going to be a very strenuous night as well. So uh, probably not going to run tonight. Might run at work if it turns out that it's not going to be a very strenuous night at work. Otherwise, I'll be back to my normal running on Saturday. And uh, running went pretty well. I I am not, you know, typically a runner. I'm not a big running kind of guy. I do run sometimes, but I've never really been into running. So this is one of the challenges of the Going Superhuman Project is to start incorporating a lot more running into my life, into my workout schedule, and try to, you know, get good at it which is what I want to shoot for. I want to no longer feel like I'm not a runner. I want to feel like I'm more of an overall athlete, like I can run, I can lift, I can do all kinds of cool stuff. So that's one of the goals of the Going Superhuman Project. And I have to say, I was not all that enthused for my run. I was not, when it was time to go on it, I was kind of like, all right, here we go, time to run. So guys, about to go for my first run of the Going Superhuman Project. And if I'm being totally honest, I'm not really looking forward to it. But after I was done, I felt good. I ran for half an hour. Didn't care about time. Didn't care about distance traveled in that time. I'm not looking for speed right now. I'm not moving on to speed work for a little bit. Right. First run complete. Got a solid half hour in. Didn't even measure my distance. Don't care about that yet. Interested to see how this impacts my workout tomorrow, though. Just trying to get my body back to that, you know, running kind of shape. Get it, establish a baseline, and. I'm not fast, I won't claim to be fast right now, but I felt pretty good. I ran the whole distance, no problem, got back home, you know, got the runner's high going a little bit, so it was a good time. Generally, for right now, I'm going to be shooting for just that, just run half an hour as fast as I am comfortable doing in that half hour, and generally increase my overall health that way. And I do believe that lifting, starting with lifting first, did help a bit because my body was already in better shape than had I just started with lifting and running together, and I don't think that would have gone nearly as well. Uh, recovery time, I felt good. I have not felt serious soreness from the running. It didn't really impact my workout yesterday, but also my lifting workout yesterday had to be cut short because I, I was I, I had to go to work again. I mentioned strenuous day at work last night, strenuous night at work last night at work overnights. So. That's it. So if you're following along at home, we're adding and running this week. So get on it. And like I said, Saturday, I'm going to go ahead and jump back in on that. And if you're not following me on Snapchat, you should because I just showed a couple of clips there. But uh, you're going to see a little insight to my workouts more regularly. The Snapchat link is going to be down in the description below. You can go ahead and follow me. I try to post Snapchat stuff every day. So if you're interested in getting a little more detail-oriented, seeing a little more inside the workout kind of stuff, go ahead and check it out. So this week, we're talking nutrition. So nutrition-wise, very straightforward, okay? It's just like I lay out on the Be A Game Character website. I am I pick macro goals, and I go for the macro goals. I'm not looking for any specific kinds of foods that I need to eat. I am taking two supplements. I'm taking Centrum Men's Multivitamins. Yes, just regular Centrum Multivitamins, nothing stupid stupid crazy from, you know, GNC or anything like that. And I'm also taking uh, fish oil. I'm taking, uh, what was it, 1,000 milligrams of fish oil a day? I don't know. Whatever the standard dosage is. Oh, I should really know this off the top of my head. Anyway, yeah, I'm taking a fish oil pill and a vitamin pill every day just to make sure that if I'm missing anything, I can generally kind of make it up with the vitamins. Also, the fish oil helps with cognitive enhancement. Well, not cognitive enhancement, but cognitive health. And also general joint health as well. It's been shown to show some help with that. So I'm not a big fan of supplements typically, but those are the two that I will stand by. Taking just a general multivitamin and fish oil, unless you have specific needs or a doctor has told you otherwise. Uh, so the macro goals, I'm going to go ahead and pop up right here. Give me one second. The macro goals that I'm looking for is I'm trying to hit like I'm, I'm – Still trying to lose weight, trying to get down to 180, 185, which is going to be challenging as my and trying to increase my output as well. But so my calorie goals: 2,100 calories, 
Protein, I'm shooting between 160 and 200 grams a day. Uh, fat goals, I'm looking for 50 to 80 grams of fat a day. And carbohydrates, 175 to 275 grams a day. I'm not going super picky with anything except for trying to hit 2100 or slightly less and hit at least 160 grams of protein because I want to make sure I continue to synthesize muscle, don't lose muscle as I'm trying to cut down. Now, this cut, I need to finish soon because it's going to reach a point. It's very, very difficult to increase your lifts while also cutting. Generally, you're just maintaining. Now, because my lifts are not that large right now and I've been at a higher level before, I'm still able to ramp up my you know linear progression of the weight as I'm cutting, but I got to get down and wait soon. And honestly, it has not been going that quickly because part of the problem is weight measurement alone is kind of difficult like this because I've definitely gained a little muscle even in these couple of weeks that I've been working out, but I've also burned fat. So I'm still hovering at around 195 depending on what day it is, but I'm definitely a lower body fat percentage than I was before. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys progress picks when I get down to where I want to be at body fat percentage wise. But really, it comes down more to aesthetics and visual appeal for me because I need to get to the point where I'm going to take some promo photos for the blog and for this project and stuff like that. So I got to cut that body fat down, get that six pack. And then once I've taken the photos, I'm okay with, you know, going back up a little bit in body fat percentage, you know, gain a little weight back in order to progress towards my weightlifting goals. Because again, very, very hard to significantly up your weight while also on a cut. Not really an easy thing to do. So that's what I'm shooting for right now. In regards to other stuff, uh, starting to go, ju go to judo regularly again. I've got my first tournament coming up, in the, the first tournament in a long, long time. And I've been to judo tournaments before, but a while ago I took time time off from judo and I had to other, other stuff going on in my life but I've got my first tournament coming up beginning of October hoping to get footage there I will show you guys in the superhuman post after that I have no idea how I'm going to do probably pretty poorly I have not competed especially at a brown belt level in three years I want to say so it should be an adventure we're gonna have a good time with that but I will definitely get footage if I can I'm hoping to bring the camera to the event and get footage of me competing and I'll go ahead and work that into the Ultramind episode that will be following June 1st it'll be the Wednesday after June 1st so that should be cool for you guys to see uh got some karate demos coming up this month as well might show you some footage from that I'm gonna do some breaks and stuff should be cool so yeah that's about it for this week's episode uh, next week, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about. Maybe lifestyle stuff. Maybe I'll just show some lifting footage. I don't know. Come back. It'll be an adventure. We'll have a good time. We'll see what's up. So thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome.